I have been incommunicado. Haven't been doing my wisdom of the day. Been very busy. I'm sorry. If you're a fan, you've been reading my work, uh, or even if you, you just been kind of perusing whatever. If you're one of my Facebook friends that typically goes through my blog, um, I'm using video these days as a means to save some time to convey my wisdom to you. Um, as you can see, I am not old or sagely by appearance, and I do not hold myself up to be some great savant or genius by any stretch of the imagination, but I do, in the opinion of some people, have a very peculiar perspective or a very interesting way of seeing things. Um, I decided to do this by video because it saves time, and though some people do tend to like my communication style, by virtue of writing, I think it might be a little easier for everybody involved, myself included, if I do videos. So here goes. Today we're going to discuss communication. We can go over how bats do sonar. We can go over how whales do low frequency uh, sounds that can be heard over vast distances. We can discuss how trees emit all sorts of chemicals into the air that... Um, draw certain insects to them to protect them. We can even discuss how I read somewhere that corn has the ability to emit a sound when it's under attack. I don't know how true that may be, but it is communication, so let's put it on the record. We can discuss how certain creatures like chameleons, squids, and octopuses are also capable of changing their skin as a means of visual communication to alert a particular threat or to coordinate their attacks in the case of squids or to conceal themselves also a mode of communication their skin but that's not the issue the issue is human communication because i don't really know that squids can read and if they did they wouldn't have access to the internet and that's not really a point the point is this communication when we communicate what we are trying to do is to convey a thought we're trying to let someone know what we know by telling them Sometimes we do it with expressions of our face. Sometimes we do it with hand gestures. Sometimes we make sounds. Sometimes it's body language. But the biggest one is language. We speak and we hear. I've heard it said once that the human species was given two ears and one mouth so we can listen twice as much as we speak. I don't know what this design idea was of the situation but I can tell you this in my personal opinion I think the communication is 70 percent listener 30 percent speaker why the speaker already knows what he's trying to convey the listener in order to learn what he's what's being said is uh, responsible for most of that in my opinion because most of communication lies in the listening clarification uh, is reached um, in the military, they use a te technique where when somebody transmits information, the other person who receives it says copy that and repeats it back or vice versa. And then they understand what each other are saying. My wife and I, from time to time, have miscommunications. And uh, that's one of the things that I would say, yeah, but um, did you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard you. And then I said, well, what did you hear? And then she says back what she heard. She's like, I only heard half of it or whatever the case may be. I said, that's not what I said. What it said was X. You said like V or something like that. And that's not what I said. It's important when you're being communicated with that you clarify what you heard. Not what you felt. Not what it made you feel. Not the, the, the intent that you suspect. But what you heard. In order to get a clear understanding of what you heard. Okay? So... The wisdom, I suppose, would be in communication. Listen. Pay attention. If you're not sure what you heard, or even if you are, say back what it is that you heard so that you can be clear that you heard it right, so that the person who spoke to you can be clear. And when you are speaking to other people, be sure that you are very concise, short and to the point. I'm not very good at that, but I'm working on it. My personal speaking style is not to be a big listener. Anyone who knows me knows this well. But I'm working on it. Like I said, we're all works in progress. Um, I suppose that's enough for now. I am your guru, Sharma Rockness. This is my wisdom of the day. And as always, my, uh, something on my chin.
Okay. Nope, it's just a reflection. Hmm. There's definitely something there. Guess it was what I was eating. <laughs> um, my my wisdom of the day is uh, list communication, um, and as always, my mode or modus operandi or the purpose for this wisdom is to enlighten, to educate, to encourage, or at least to entertain. This has been your Guru Sharma Rockness video wisdom of the day.